am sitting with none other than top G over here, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thanks, Winston brother. Kunene. I send her money and on the reference, I put wife. And then <laughs> I know it's crazy. I saw this what you I it saw talks. this tweet. <laughs> I saw this tweet. <laughs> I loved it. And someone's just looking and at you and like, being like, no, it's this nothing. Is, this is a, I don't have time for this. I'm like, okay, cool. Stick it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Some, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Dude, I had this exact conversation exactly. one year ago yeah. to this month. I remember sure. I was going to go buy an RS5. We Incoming message. The Modern Man Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Modern Man Podcast. Today is a fucking awesome episode. I am sitting with none other than Top G over here, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thanks, Winston brother. Kunene. Thank you, my brother. What's happening, bro? How are you doing? Oh, man, I'm good. How welcome to the Modern Man, bro. I couldn't wait for this. Man. Oh, dude, I'm glad. It's, I'm glad, bro. We beautiful. Today is going to be a very different conversation than you used to, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um. So before I get into the journey and the story of who is Winston Kunene, mm. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, yeah, bro. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm actually I want proud to, of you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My last guess, I couldn't say his surname right, so I just didn't. <laughs> bro, uh, I want to ask one topic firsthand just to get this going, bro. In your opinion, bro, how important is it to choose the right friends to hang out with? Bro, that is such a deep question. That is such a deep question. Um, you know, today I was actually out with my media guy, right? We were looking for like content creation, taking photos and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he literally said, dude, you're such a, a lone wolf. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, and, and, and he, he made me realize that I'm just a lonely guy. I'm so independent. Mm. I, struggle independent with, I struggle with friends. Mm. And not because I'm a dick or um, I'm super serious and no yeah. one wants to hang out with me. It's not that really, but it's more of like, a, I, I, I'm just, I just genuinely appreciate my own space. Mm. I genuinely appreciate spending time by myself, you know? Yeah. And I think that's such an important question because then you ask me, what's, how, what's the importance of choosing friends? And I do have friends, genuine friends, by yeah. the way, you yeah, know, yeah, that yeah. I, I was about to say, everyone Literally. watching this right now is yeah, like, no, fuck no, this guys. guy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no like, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got genuine friends. I actually yeah. call them my brothers now. Yeah, yeah. I've known them for more than Friends should years. be family, bro. Exactly. Yeah. And how I'm so grateful for those friends because I'll be dead honest with you. I am where I am today as an entrepreneur because of those friends as well. Yeah. You know, they've played a huge role in, in me choosing my path, in me going for what I want. Mm. and you know sometimes we bent it's always banter like yeah yeah yeah, yeah ha, ha, you <laughs> stupid idiot take the piss yeah you know you're scared of girls or whatever <laughs> but it's like <laughs> it's it's oh. cr it's crazy because i i i gained a lot of confidence mm. a lot of brotherhood a lot of community around my friends and i think that's so important to find those kind of friends yes in your life because those are the people that really curate your life yes as much as you think we're as much as i think I'm responsible. I'm a lone wolf. Yeah. I've got you by myself. But trust me, there are days where you just want to sit down and cry and yeah. you need a shoulder to cry on and it, it, can't, it can't always be a chick. Yeah. No, it can't know? be, bro. I, I always say that there's certain people in your life that play certain roles, bro. Yeah. So certain people you can tell certain things to because yes. they just understand it better. Exactly. They'll be able to either comfort you or give you the correct advice yes. in those moments. Not everybody is for everything. Yeah. So your partner could be one thing, your best mate could be another thing, and mm. you just share specific things mm. with specific people. Yeah. But I, I want to I sit on that thing that you said there about being a lone wolf, and yeah. um, I relate to that so much, really? bro. I like, can imagine that. Bro, yeah. like I'm a very extroverted person. I'm very yeah. social. You know, when I go out, I know yeah. a lot of people. A lot of people know me. Mm. But I love my mm. own company. Sure. To a point where it actually becomes a little bit toxic. Yeah. That I have struggled with relationships in the past because people want to spend more time with me and I that just is... don't want to, bro. No matter how much I would like to, but I, I can't bro. do it, bro. You and I, bro. Every night I have to spend minimum two hours 
on my own, yeah. no words spoken, Jeez. no one saying anything to me, no one yeah. in my space, no one touching my energy, yeah. just to come back to life before mm. I start again the next fucking day. You know what I mean? Mm. And I think a lot of people always, as you say, lonely. Yeah. I think there's a difference between being alone and yeah. being lonely. Ooh. You know what I mean? Ooh. I, I, I think a there's a big, there's a big, big difference. And I think a lot of people get Ooh. it wrong, bro, because... Sorry, I'm going on a full monologue. Now nah, you're bro. going hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. You're going bro, hard. Yeah. Bro. And you know, like, so I've always been the person, I haven't been in long term relationships yeah. at all, bro. Yeah. My longest is like six weeks. Okay. Swear to God. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were going to say six months. No, that you didn't is... see that one coming, eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. And um, yeah. for me, it's just. Um, I like being alone because I'm also on my mission. I know what the fuck yes. I want to do, bro. Yes. So I think especially having a partner in a relationship, mm. you got to have the right partner to chase yeah. your dreams with yeah. because yeah. the wrong partner, I've seen it with nearly everybody I know, dude. drags them back, holds them back. All the time. And it, dude, a, a relationship alone mm. is a bigger job than your actual job. Oof. In my opinion. That's true. That's a fucking work 24-7, never-ending job, dude. Bro. And I love, don't I want to be married with kids one day? I want to have a person, yeah. you know, lacquer. I was actually th- like talking to you right now really hit so hard because I go through the same thing. I struggle with relationships. Yeah. I prefer being alone actually, but I, I, you know, how do you explain that to a spouse? You don't. How do you say to them, I really need some alone time? Consistently. Consistently. Consistently every day. And she's gonna Minute, think, like, yeah. you know, I don't want to spend time with yeah. you. And that's not it, bro, because yeah. I agree with you completely because it sounds like such a douche thing to yeah. say, but it's such a needed thing on, I think it's just the way we are as people, yeah. bro. I mean, like we're sure. both entrepreneurs, we're yes. both on our business, we're on our purpose, yes. shit like that. Yes. You know, the cliche fucking top G's things. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a real thing, bro. Yeah. And fucking, I think people don't, I don't think they not respect it they just don't understand it at the end of the day it's a little bit difficult because we also sit in your, how long do you sit in your head all the time bro bro i live your in brain never head, stops correct the last interaction i had with the chick mm? i almost married her ladies and gentlemen i would like to introduce our sponsor kings of shisha Please visit their website, www.kingsofshisha.co.za. Choose the modern man for a 10% discount on any order. They supply parties, they supply clubs, they supply restaurants. So guys, if you are in need of a Shisha King, please get in touch with them. And now, back to our episode. Ow. <laughs> Bro, wait, wait. I fucking, I'll tell you the story. I was about to say, I'll start from story. the beginning. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one, bro. I was expecting, you know, this chick swore me because I didn't want to see her. I, I almost married her. <laughs> what? I'll tell oh, you this. Okay. I hope she does not watch this, but if she does, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> oh. So, um, so she calls me. Mm. And she says, hey, I'm stuck. I'm on my way to Malanga and I'm stuck in the middle of the road. So I'm like, okay, cool. Let me make a plan. Let me come to you. And she mm. says, no, I'm about 55 kilometers away from you. Mm. So I'm like, okay, what, sh- okay, what should I do? I want to come to you. I want to mm. be a hero. <laughs> yeah, you want to be, the- you take the responsibility, exactly. bro. Yes. And then she says, no, don't worry. Insurance is coming. I just wanted to hear your voice. So I'm like, okay, cool. That is so sweet, you know? But I'm like, okay, at the same time, Let me send her money. So I asked her, how much was your claim for insurance? Mm. Let me be a hero. Do something. Yeah. 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 So she says, okay, it's, um, it was something small, like 800 bucks. Mm. It's not small, but you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, cool. Let me send you 800 bucks. Um, because I know the one thing you're worrying about right now is finances, the car, security, at least let me try and, and, you know, release that little bit of stress. Ease the burden. Yeah, I'll see you yeah. later when your insurance company drops you off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I send her money. So I fucked up, actually. <laughs> so I send her money. And on the reference, I put wife. But it was meant to be my reference. And then <laughs> I know it's crazy. And then, and then on, the, on the thing, I just said insurance. So that the notification sends to me as insurance, but it sends to her as wife. wife. So she's like, dude, what the fuck? 
<laughs> and then no because i so i laughed about it i'm like dude this is so funny <laughs> Please, <laughs> you weren't supposed to know. Um, like, like, uh, like this was coming listen, up on yeah. my bank statement, <laughs> yeah. not yours. <laughs> like this is just this is changing how much I care about mm. you. But it was not supposed to come out like this. You know, it was really a mistake from my side. So yeah. we laugh about it, and we actually speak about it. Mm. And she says to me, "Dude, I've always known you wanted to marry me and stuff mm. like that. Because I'm that guy. I'm very upfront. Like I don't want to waste time. You know." But at the same time, she knows how much I enjoy spending time by myself mm. and how much I, when I want to grow, I want to do it in my own little corner. I don't want her to support me with that. Yeah. And she's going to struggle with that. Mm. And we spoke about that and we're like, okay, cool. It's never going to happen. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, we're never going to get married. Because of the relationship because of, just won't work exactly. like that. Yeah. Like yeah. she really understood that. And yeah. I think for me, that's... That's the importance of like communication, I suppose. Yes. But why you and I would struggle in relationships mm. if you and I don't communicate that to a chick. Yeah. They get upset. Bro. It's a, it's yeah. suicidal for them. Completely. Because it's like, they're going to come in and they're going to hate it. Dude. Yeah. I agree with you completely, bro. And what you said there about, I think communication is a key mm. aspect. But I think one thing that people don't talk about is the actual understanding. Mm. So you can communicate your thoughts your needs your your mind working but yes. if somebody doesn't understand it yeah then that communication is just wasted yeah wasted on deaf ears yeah. words on deaf ears bro Jeez, so i i i think also what you said there a good point i, I like what you said about allow me to be the hero yeah i love the way you said that because that yeah. is a real thing that this day and age society is telling women be your own man be yeah. your own sugar daddy yeah stuff like that sure let the man be the man. Yeah. Let the woman be the woman. I said this in the previous podcast we shot like an hour ago. Yeah. Men lead, women, women follow. Women follow. That's, 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 that's just, how it is. See that's, the guys that's in the just, background. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's the way a good relationship dynamic will work. And it doesn't mean that the woman is weak. Yeah. That's what I think they're getting wrong. Exactly. It doesn't. It means they're stronger. Exactly. It means because they're holding down the fort in a completely different way than exactly. you are, bro. Exactly, bro. They keeping, yeah. so you, you create, you build. Yeah. They maintain. Yeah. Ooh. And that's it. And that's it for Your me. Your bars, man. <laughs> <laughs> you hard. I'm on fire today, bro. <laughs> You're on fire, damn, bro. Damn. Okay. Anyway, boss that thing. <laughs> yeah. Tell me who is Winston Kunene. Tell me Winston. about you, bro. Start from the get go. Mm. Winston Kunene. That's uh. So my 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 name on my ID is Mshoni Shwa Winston Kunene. Okay. So recently, I I changed my name to Tembisa Winston mm. Kunene, but that's not on my ID. It's yeah, just something yeah, yeah. I it's just branding. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay. So um who is Tembisa Winston Gunene? I think I relate more with that guy. I relate more with that character, but he's just the guy who's really, really calm, cool and collected. Mm. Very smart guy. Um, not blowing my own horns. No, nah, dude. Say it say it Very as it is. Extremely intelligent guy. He thinks like a mafia. I saw this what you I he saw talks. this tweet. I saw this tweet. I loved it. I loved it. Wait, listen, this is a bar drop right here, bro. You gotta drop the pipe after like a mic, bro. Fuck. Yeah, so um he thinks like a mafia. He talks like a lawyer at work. You know, he he cares like a teacher. Um I love teaching. Um and yeah, and he he wins like an athlete top show he's extremely competitive yes so reason why he actually struggles with relationships because that's what we're talking about just now is because he just hates losing and he hates vulnerable situations vulnerability is a fucking defect of it, people like it us it is bro it's Completely. so bad you know sometimes you do want to be vulnerable and be open because it's be the like, right listen, thing I'm to struggling. do yeah but you're not going to we're not going to nope imagine nope. showing your employees that you can't close a lead. And then Never. every fucking Monday morning, you want to try and get them to close leads. You got to lead by example. You got to lead by example. So you can't show up as a weak, well, I don't want to say weak leader, but you can't really show a vulnerability Never like that. let them see you sweat. You, ever. Never. 
Ever. Never let them see you sweat. Ever. You can be down and out in the fucking dumps. You stand tall with your exactly. chest up, your fucking chin forward, and you move, bro. While you're bleeding, you still fight. That's it. To the fucking last depths. Bro. I love that, bro. You know what? I think a lot of people struggle with anything that you just said because you know who you are. Yeah. That that takes yeah. a lot of self-awareness. And yeah. you were talking about stoicism to me, yes, bro. And yes. I think that's where that practice comes in is yeah. in stoicism. He's just realizing what kind of person you are. Yeah. Doing the inventory on yourself, exactly. sitting with yourself consistently. And that's when you sit with yourself. You yeah. can't do it when somebody else is with you, bro. Oh, because then you have not. someone like, yeah, 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 the whole time. No, you got to sit by yourself and figure the fucking shit out by yourself, mm, bro. Mm. And self-awareness is, I actually read it. I don't know if you've read the book, The Way of the Superior Man Oof, by David I'd Data. Li- I'd like Top to, shelf I'd like to read book, that. bro. That's, that's and the, the one heading. thing said, the best superpower for a man is self-awareness. Oof. Self-awareness will change your whole life, bro. Jeez, bro. If you just know who you are and you are confident in yourself, yeah, you can do anything you can do you can change the world bro it's um, it actually works exactly with this philosophy about yeah. how you can never improve anything that you don't know so you can't improve what you haven't measured so if i know the distance from here to here is x mm. kilometers i know how far i need to run because you know because you know yeah. but if you don't know you'll run and run and run and you might give up along the journey because you don't know because you don't know left. how far the distance is so it's exactly that self-awareness is is exactly that if i know this is where i struggle i know what my boundaries are and what's my what, what my limitations weaknesses are. are yeah i like I, when you say limitations but i mm. always think back to Final season of Peaky Blinders. Ooh, Tommy Shelby sitting there. To, to, Tommy Shelby <laughs> sitting there, and he's like, "I have no limitations." Oof. That for me was one of the coldest lines of ever. Bro. And you know, you just watch it in a series, and you yeah. don't actually think about it back. Yeah. And then when you sit with it in your mind, and you think, "I have no limitations." Literally, bro. You can do it. To, today. You tomorrow you can wake up mm. and train like a motherfucker for the next five years, yeah. become a professional fighter. Yeah. You might not be the best, yeah. but you can become a professional fighter. Yeah. You can be the best if you wanted to, you bro. Can. Something could pull out of something, bro. <laughs> yeah. You can wake up tomorrow and become a absolute genius in history mm. if you wanted to. You could mm. you can basically do anything. It's yeah. just putting your mind, choosing something, mm. getting your head around it and just fucking doing it. Yeah. At the yeah. end of the day. Sure. That's completely it. So do oh, tell man. me a little bit more about your businesses, bro. So yeah. you do you told me you're a marketing genius. Yeah. And a disruptor in the marketplace, bro. Yeah. Explain that. Explain that to people like this, because you know, like a lot of people are going to watch this. They're not going to really understand a lot. So yeah, let's yeah. say, let's speak to. Who I was going to say a really bad word, but let's speak to the normal, <laughs> normal average Joe. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. I've been in the real estate industry. I'll tell you about my business, how I got into it, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. what what's the disruption I was referring to. So, I'm in the real estate industry. We sell properties, we lease properties out for clients, do property management, sectional title developments. We do all sorts of property mm. related transactions, right? Yes. And then we have a finance division as well where we assist homeowners, well, buyers to actually get homes through like bonds. So getting bond origination in place and getting the banks to give them home loans at affordable rates and stuff like that. Okay, so we're like the middleman for that. And then we've got the education section where we just teach real estate. Mm. Like we've got an association. It's called South African Youth and Property Association. So we get all the experts in the industry to come together and mentor and teach and share their stories. And we mm. have like webinars and we've got like master classes and stuff like that. Just to, yeah. you know, just to that impact, you know, and, and creating opportunities. Around educate that. someone else to make a better world. Exactly. Bro. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, pay it forward. Yeah, exactly. Paying Pay it forward, forward. Yeah, exactly. Don't just keep your knowledge to yourself. Bro. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically what my company does mm. in a nutshell. How I became disruptive within the industry is I've only been in the industry for seven years. Mm. So no, don't get me wrong. I'm not the king of real estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As much as a lot of people call me the king of real estate, mm. I've only got seven years experience. I still got a lot to learn in all of that. But Sorry, you- just before you go on with that, Bruce, mm. seven years is... I wouldn't say a long time in business Oof. because I think no people ways. don't like to think about timelines, but um, yeah. seven years yeah. 
to do yeah. feels like a long time. It does. But it also... It's very quick. It's quick, quick. It's and, like, but yeah, seven years, dude. when you tell someone I'm seven years in the business, they yeah. think, fuck, that's long. Bro. Yeah. And guys in business, it's not long. It's not. It's not, not long. You, you are still you're a light. Yeah, yeah, that you just, you just yeah. fucking playing with the cherry on top there, mm, bro. Mm. And I think that's where a lot of people give up. They don't want to put in those years, those times yeah. into it to become yeah. a king of real estate yeah put it in that sense exactly. you know what i mean and building yeah. that foundation yeah where you know literally every fucking thing about the industry <laughs> you know so yeah no i get you i totally agree with you and so what you know that's actually one of the challenges that i'm experiencing right now is i get a lot of people with 30 years 25 years experience coming to me and saying how the hell did you do all of this mm. in a space of seven years mm. i've been around for way longer than you were born <laughs> you know so um how old are you sorry bro i'm 26 fucking hey son <laughs> <laughs> look at all you people watching two 26 year olds talk on camera eh? <laughs> what a time to be alive this is our world now fucking man. love it this is man. our world now <laughs> it's not like back in the day where for you to become a millionaire, you have to be like 50. <laughs> minimum. Minimum, <laughs> you know, bro. You know. I want to be rich soon, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I want to still enjoy my year. riches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's basically... So I get a lot of guys that come in, but why I am where I am today... So I get invited to speak to like ministers yeah. of the human settlements mm. department, which is like the God, whole I saw that, bro. What is that? What does that mean? So I don't know what the human settlements... Oh, yeah. It's like... It's basically the minister that's in charge of all our housing regulations okay. and the real estate regulations and and so forth anything that has to do with basically security housing so are those the guys that are putting up like my mortgage of... every fucking month bro yeah well that, those are the <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes bro. okay those are the bags damn man yeah. <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> those are the bags shit's killing me dog <laughs> <laughs> yeah no so those those are those are the banks but yeah they work hand in hand with with the ministers so yeah, it's the highest level of governance basically yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for real estate. And I was, I had the privilege. It was such an honor to be a panelist for one of the engagements we had with the minister regarding real estate. What are the challenges? What's the transformation agenda? You know, things like that that mm. have to do with the whole country as a whole, yeah. as a whole yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. within the sector. So yeah. I was part of that conversation and they needed to hear what I had to say as well, which for me, that was recognition. Dude, and that's also a big thing. Because you're so young, yeah. people, I, I get it all the time too, but people look down. They're yeah. like, ah, what do you know, bro? Yeah. What do you know? You're just a fucking 26-year-old yeah. who Dude. thinks your ass don't stink. I know my ass stinks, but I'm smart as fuck. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? And I think a good set of fresh eyes mm. on a situation is always needed, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. I look at the way people are... Just the way governments work all around the world, not yeah. just here, where they're putting fucking seventy-five-year-olds in cabinets. Dude. I think it's the fucking stupidest things ever. I think ever. there should be an age limit yeah. because those folks don't care. They don't care. They dude. don't care. They're they cashing in now, retirement. so everybody, yeah, dude. Yeah. So they're cashing in cows. Yeah. And the people that are actually going to be living in the country for the next fifty odd years, yeah. I wouldn't say like for me, you should be at least forty. Mm. I think forty years old to be yeah. a, like a minister yeah. is a it's good. Fair. It's like a fair. It's a fair one because that's a the solid France president. Yes, yes. Yeah. But the then yeah. sixty five is where you call it quits. Same retirement age. Yeah. Once you're sixty five, you call it quits. You fuck all. Yeah, that's give, it. Give give the opportunity give, to give someone to else. Somebody else yeah. bro. completely. Yeah, dude. So yeah, man. Um, yeah, that's basically one of the reasons why then uh, I'm getting a lot of attention now. And why did you sector. choose to go into this? What what made you think, fucking a, I'm going into, if mm. not the best market of all time? Yeah, it is the best market of yeah. all time. Real estate. Real estate yeah. is something that has always been around mm. and will always be around. Yeah, bro. it's not anything that will ever stop. So can what I, made you think about that? Can I be honest? Yeah, I was just going through the Forbes list. Mm. You saw Grant Cardone. And I look at <laughs> <laughs> he's one of the guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's one of the guys. Yeah, let's talk about a dick. Yo, <laughs> Yo fuck. Smart, <laughs> smart oak, but a true asshole, bro. Yeah. I hope I don't become that guy one day. No, man. yeah. Yes, I like yes. I like watching him because he, he gives some really He's, educational he's, he's, shit yeah but yo, he's, he yo, can bro. be like fuck you yo you dumbass but uh, we need that yeah we do need it somebody you know? needs a kick in the ass anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, you were so, looking through the Forbes yeah list. I was just going through the Forbes and I was like dude it looks like 75% of the billionaires have all invested in real estate easy 
I'm like, easy because it's I something everything appreciates, bro. Yeah, it appreciates. Yeah, and on a big scale, bro. Bro, that was like a blueprint for me to 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 be like, you know what? If I ever had to dive into this industry, and I put my all in into it, yeah. my all blood and sweat into it. Surely it I could become a billionaire. It will pay off, bro. Yeah, you know? Yeah, because that's a goal. Yeah, that's, Not millionaire. I mean, yeah. Billionaire. Has billionaire. To be. Has to be. Has bro. to be has billionaire, to be. bro. Has because millions you can lose tomorrow. Exactly. Me, I could spend a couple million in a, in a weekend if you gave me the money, bro. And then it's like, With, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But billionaires, hey, bro, that money don't end. You the, To become, you know, the crazy thing about billionaires mm. is not that they have accumulated so much wealth. Mm. It's who they've become within the journey. So by the time they've become this superior human being, bro, they are billionaires. Yes, yes. it makes sense. It's a mindset. It's a mindset It's a mindset thing. completely. Because even Grant Cardone said, yeah. great thing he said, don't study millionaires. Yeah. Don't study millionaires. Yeah. Go and study the billionaires. Exactly. That's what. That's the kind of people you want to put yourself exactly. in the same group with. Is you go Millionaires, yeah, they made money, bro. Yeah. But billionaires is... That's a game changer, bro. Another level, bro. That that's it's it's an unreal fucking thing, bro. And yeah. I thought about that too, bro. Um, mm. Real estate. I wouldn't say like I wouldn't say it's like a fucking passion of mine, bro. But yeah. I knew since I left school, mm. I learned so much more out of school yeah. than I learned in school. Sure. Within my first year, bro, I used to watch YouTube. I used to see things, this and that, what, what. Yeah. And my first thing was get a good credit score. Mm. Get a good credit score. And yeah. dude, you said something in your one reel that I think people are so financially illiterate with. Mm. And that means get into debt. Yeah. Use debt. Yeah. As a, to build wealth, to yeah. build wealth, bro. Use someone else's money, money. Yeah. to make you money, bro. <laughs> the interest that you pay back is yeah. less than the profit that you're making, bro. bro. And you, it's a simple math. Yeah. It's simple math, exactly. bro. The whole, what's, uh, what, our uh, economy, Economy, it's, it's capitalism. capitalism. Oh, yeah, yeah, capitalism yeah. is math. Yeah, yeah. It's numbers. It's a it's, numbers it's game. It's a numbers game. All you got to do is just... all the time. Yes, it's, it's a numbers game. It's not difficult to get rich. Yeah. Which is Oof, a weird thing like to fucking that. say. I like and that. And people are going to be like, oh, my God, no, you know, I can't even afford bread. You know? But, but you're, you're right. You, you, there's, uh, there's ways you can just fucking make money. You are so right. Bro, and so I went from... thing. I went into debt, bro. Mm, I mm, did mm. fucking cards this mm. and that but i could always pay the debt yes. so my credit score yeah by the time i was 23 mm. was enough to get me my own place yes so yes. i got a home loan ace man yeah at 23 sure. listen there's other guys that have done it better yeah but for me that was a fucking it milestone like a, bro. i pinnacle. thought to myself i was like dude I well got done that. actually thank that's, you bro that's a huge marathon that, <laughs> for a 23 thank year you old. bro yeah. and i thought to myself fuck at 23 i just got a home loan approved ace man Jeez, man. And got a fucking nice three-bedroom apartment, two, yeah. two bathrooms. Oh, not nice. even like a bachelor. You got a no, three-bedroom, yeah, three-bedroom double story like yeah, a motherfucker, bro. So yeah, well yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah. And I thought to myself, because I always wanted to be a millionaire by yes. 25. And everyone okay. thinks a millionaire, you need to have a million liquid in the bank. In the bank. Which and is, that's so yeah. stupid, people. <laughs> yeah. Like, please become financially literate. Mm. Being a millionaire... Like I could sit here and say I'm a millionaire. It, it's oh. not. I'm not trying to fucking like yeah gas myself up, but it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. My assets are worth <laughs> more than a million. Yes, yes. So I'm a millionaire. You are a millionaire. It's, it's a fucking easy. It's as not that, negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. I mean, people look at. Mm. I, I love how people always swear the billionaires where you know your Elon Musk and they always like they're sitting on so many resources, and they don't share it with the rest of the world yeah and i'm thinking to myself so elon musk is worth call it 250 billion yeah yes it's such a fucking ridiculous 250 to say. billion us dollars dude now <laughs> think about that that's nearly our fucking <laughs> what we have the money in this country dude that's but small yeah. our country's nothing yeah so i'm thinking <laughs> yeah. to myself but you people think he has 250 billion in the bank yeah oh, that's yeah. not it bro the oak owns nothing yeah but shares he literally he owns no liquid money. Everything yeah. is tied up money. Yeah. And he lives off credit. Yeah. He goes to the bank and he says, I have all this assets. Give me an unlimited credit line. Yeah. And that's how he fucking lives. So he, he doesn't own $250 billion no, he doesn't have dollars in, in li- dollars. In liquid, no. no ways. He has and it in did shares. Did you see how everyone got shocked when he had to borrow money to buy Twitter? Yeah. Everyone was like, why are you borrowing money if you have 250 I'm like, dude, is that it's... how you've been thinking about money? But you see, they don't teach us <laughs> in school. Yeah. They don't teach us in school. We'll get into the education yeah, system now. That's true. Just alone, I, again, a Grand Cardone reel. That's yeah. where he taught me, bro. Yeah. The biggest companies in the world, your Apples, your mm, Googles, yeah. 
They have two trillion dollars. Yeah. They have all this money and they, they never use it. Never. Bro. When they go and acquire a new company, they go to the bank and say, please give me the money. Me. And they buy the company exactly. with the bank's money. Exactly. And they keep all that cash flow, which is also another thing that they don't teach you is cash flow. It's cash flow. In the bank. Yeah. And end of the day, there we go. Bro. Sure. And everyone thinks they're fucking monsters, but they yeah. just play the game. They play so they well. They play the game. And it's, they create jobs. Dude, this, they create so many jobs dude. and they don't want to look at that. People yeah. don't like to look at that. Yeah. yeah. Completely. And fuck, sure. we were getting onto a point now and I completely forgot. Yeah, no, that was, that was some powerful stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, about the, him buying Twitter, bro. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, and people saying, oh, he's hmm. stupid. Yeah, no, they were like, he's dumb. He hasn't, um, oh, he's been, a, he's been lying all his life. Forbes is trash. I'm like, dude, people really, really need to learn about money and how money works. Yeah. But it's the whole real estate thing I was talking about. It's like, mm. people should use the bank's money to buy real estate. Get a tenant to service that interest. That did, that bond repayment. That's By it. the time that property is paid off, yeah, sure, it might be far, yeah. but... You just got free money from Dude, the bank. Dude, that's it. And I, I, as you say that, bro, I, I, I own that apartment, bro. Yes. Just personal experience. I mm. lived there for 18 months. Yeah. Best time of my life. Oh, my God. Yeah. One man. Yeah. That's where my aloneness just... That you know, is, yeah, that, that's where in, I, I brought yeah. it in, bro. And then it got to a point where I was spending so much money a month on my bond, my mm. mortgage, yeah. my living expenses and shit. Because I also like nice things, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And I thought, fuck it. Let me just do what... Every smart person has ever said and rent it out. Rent Let it somebody out. else pay for my yeah, shit, bro. Yeah. And yeah, I've been back home a good couple of months now and I'd look back and I'm just like, great, great fucking decision. I'm to be very honest it. with you. Worth it, bro. Dude, and talk to me how people always say it's for where you live. It's always better to rent than to buy. Mm. Why? I suppose we have personal goals, right? Um, so look at someone with kids five kids, three kids yeah. or whatever. And y looking at them renting is actually a bad idea mm. because you want to kind of leverage off of your kids inheriting some sort of asset when you retire, when you die, yeah. um, especially real estate because it's the easiest we can relate to, right? Mm. It's like if you can work towards paying off your mortgage, mm. downgrade when you retire, go somewhere else, downscale or whatever and then get because you need less at that point yeah you'll need less at that point get a tenant to come in and mm. pay rent that rental income can fund your kids mm. that rental income can fund you as a retiree mm. you retire you, never have you to don't work have again, income you get a salary bro. exactly you get a salary from it exactly so I look at it like that mm. but as a bachelor like I'm a bachelor I, I want to move into a three bedroom now but um um I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have kids. I don't know why I'm being so wild like that, <laughs> dude. I I, I, I I totally get it, bro. I totally get it. I'm in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, but it's like no. But I genuinely want to move into like a bigger space now, mm. right? And um, as a bachelor, I've been I, by the I've been I've been renting in one of Bowen properties. Yeah, Bowen. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been renting like since for seven years now. But I own 11 properties that have tenants. And they and pay your rent. They pay that rent. They pay that. They service the bond repayments. They service the, 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 the mm. mortgage and the asset itself, you know. But it's like people will ask me. So it goes back to where are you in your life? Mm. I don't have kids and all of that. So I, I didn't have to actually buy a house and stay there for 20 years. I could just rent for a year, move into a different region. We move if you into want to a move. different region, but I know I've got assets as well, yeah. you know, so it's that simultaneous. Are paying for your things. Exactly. But also, I also, I also looked at it when I started that investment journey, I looked at it as if I were to pay off three of these properties, yeah. they will service my dream home wherever I want to go, mm. but I don't have to buy the home. I can just rent it. Because I'll fully furnished have, even <laughs> fully furnished. Because <laughs> I always yeah. I can go to a I can go for a penthouse yeah. in one of the most prestigious estates. Yeah. And I have my three properties, four properties servicing that re it. that rental. But mm. I, it's not gonna f I'm not gonna feel that pain because mm -hmm. it's like I'll move out next year to a different home, or I'll move out in five years or ten years, or I'll get married and just buy a home. Wh whatever you want. Whatever do. I want to do. But you see now this has given you freedom. Freedom, bro. Money. Assets, assets, assets alone give exactly. you freedom, bro. Exactly. They give you the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. Exactly. And I think a lot of people don't understand this. Um, 
as you said, bro, you don't have kids. You don't have a wife. Yeah. You're just like me, bro. I'm yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. There's no roots to tie you down in exactly. a certain thing, bro. Yeah. So you can, if you decide I want to go to Malibu and rent a beach house for yes. three months, fully furnished, you can go fucking do it, bro. Yeah. You don't need to buy a place. Yeah. What, what, what do you need to buy a exactly. place for, bro? You have something else paying for that because yeah. you've bought, you've invested in the assets that yes. pay you the money back. Exactly. And a lot of people always are investing in liabilities. Yeah. Buying a car. You know, Ooh. I don't own a car. I don't own a car. At all. At all, bro. I'm so I'm, impressed. Bro, I I'm, don't own a car. I've I'm never owned a so car. I'm so impressed. Dude, because there's no point in owning a car for me because I work six yeah. days a week. So yeah. I use the work bucket to go yes. back and forth. Yes. If I go out, I normally I'm going to go have a drink. Yeah. I never drink and drive. So I just yeah. Uber. Yeah. Or if I need to go somewhere, I just pack shit in my mom's car or yeah. my dad's car, which is, I have that privilege yeah. Yeah. to do it yeah. and just move on, bro. Dude, I love that so much. Because yeah. now imagine you get a bang average car yeah. and you're paying minimum six grand a month. Yeah. Then your insurance, then your petrol. Asset. And you can't, what's your resale value? Dude, the moment it goes, goes out of the garage, it's fat. But you know, the crazy thing as well is like, um, we spoke about this, uh, the importance of friendships, right? Yes. And, you know, I've had friends that, especially at the peak of my career where, dude, why are you still driving a, a little private car? Why are you still driving a company car? You should be driving a Range Rover. You should be driving a, you should show that you're a successful entrepreneur. I, I've had, there was a time in my life where I had, the, had those kind of friends. Mm. And there was a time in my life where I had the friends that actually said to me, don't be a dumbass. Dude, <laughs> it, you you keep going with the investments and the assets. You don't have to fucking go and buy a liability. Mm. I mean, I knew that. But sometimes some, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Dude, really? I had this exact conversation exactly. one year ago yeah. to this month. I remember sure. I was going to go buy an RS5, my dream sure. car. I always said I won't own cars. There's yeah. Three Two cars that I would own in my life. An Audi RS5. Yeah. Or 2014. And I'm not a car guy. Yeah. Bro. I don't know that shit. But nice 2014 RS5. Yeah. It's an old shape. V8 engine. Sure. Oof, and a Jeep sexy. Rubicon. That's sexy. Those are the two cars I would buy in my life. So sure. I was, I found one last year this time. Yeah. And then I looked at it and I thought, yes, I can do this. You know, yeah. great idea. Yeah. And literally I said, you know what? Let me sleep on it for a week. Yeah. And after a week I looked back and that I thought, That is wise, fucking, man. This is so stupid that because yeah, I'm going to drive course. around in the RS5, but it's 12 grand a month minimum. Cause the second yeah. hand, 12 grand, yeah. 12 grand a month on monthly repayments. Sure. It's three grand a month for insurance yeah. you, and you're going to drive it like a sports car. So you're going to spend at least four grand a month yeah. on fucking petrol. Yeah. So there's 20 grand a month down the drain. So for a car that i would never get to use because i'm always at work yeah literally it would sit in the garage and i would never fucking use yeah. it yeah what do you think about leasing lease so i like that you know yeah. what i've always you know what have you watched suits yeah i do i, do Dude, my, oh, bro, I re it watch once a year shows, bro. Uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> i rewatch it once a year and i would love to do what harvey does but if for during the thing i'd love to have my own driver drive me around whatever so you can work in the back because time stuck in traffic is time wasted yeah Oof. So then I would love to belong to a car club, mm. a proper car club where you pay a monthly thing. Yes. So you don't own the car. Yeah. You get a full tank with it. Sure. And for a week, you get to go take the fucking brand new car. Yeah. So every week or every month you get to do, or do you get to drive whatever yeah. the fuck you want? Sure. Bro. Bro. 10 times. And then you don't have that liability in owning it and maintaining it mm. and paying the insurance <laughs> and accumulating that depreciation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. This all sounds very fucking douchebag. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, people always like, oh, this guy's such a douchebag. <laughs> like, when you look at, like, Harvey and shit, like, yeah. the people got it sourced. Like, that's capitalism that's for you at the end of the day, bro. It, bro. You yeah. got to just think of it as a fucking yeah. numbers game, bro. That's exactly it. Yeah. Tell me, bro, what yeah. do you believe in your life is your purpose? Um, That's such a great question, man. Uh, I've been struggling with this one for quite some time. But I'm starting to, because I'm also self-aware, I'm starting to realize that purpose is, is no destination. You know, um, we change as human beings every decade. Mm. You want something today and 10 years later, you want something different. So mm. that can't really be defined as purpose. Yes. And I always use this analogy when I speak to my team. It's like, guys, you can, being a doctor is not the purpose, but healing people Saving is the purpose. Saving lives, yes. 
So I love that purpose is not materialistic. It's not. Mm-hmm. There's no destination. It's very progressive. Mm. You just have to work on your your personal development, mm. and as you go along, you will find. So, for example, myself, how what I think my purpose is is like I'm. I mean, I'm gonna sound like I'm contradicting myself right now because I just said you can't define purpose, but I'm. I genuinely. It's your purpose have right been now, brought yeah. in the in 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 society to make a, to inspire a lot of people. Um, I believe that I'm responsible for a lot of. How do I put this? People's destinies are tied. Yes. To my drive. their futures. Their futures. Their futures. You're so, in charge, bro. That's what happens. I when suppose. You're in charge. Yeah. You know. You. 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 People count on you, bro. They. We've made so many. Guy, we've changed lives, you know. I can't really, I can't even explain it. Yeah. We've changed so many lives yes. within the sector. Mm. When I say we, with my business partners, the guys that started this with me, mm. we've changed so many lives and where we've seen people come from metric, building a career out of this, making money, mm. buying cars, buying houses, feeding their families, you know. So that's my purpose is to make sure that the other person is able to empower themselves. Yeah. And I just have to keep going. Paying it forward, bro. Maybe in 10 years' time, I might step down as the CEO. Mm. 20 years, 50 years, whatever. You don't know yet. But I'll do something different. But I think it's aligned to making a positive impact. Yes. I love that, bro. Mm. I completely love that. Mm. It, that reminds me of uh, Matthew McConaughey when he said his acceptance speech for his Oscar the once, I think, bro. Sure. And he said, when he was young, people used to ask him, who is your hero? Sure. And he said, when he was 15, he said, my hero is me at 25. Ooh, I love And then when he, uh, then when he got love to that. 25, I love that. He, they asked him again, who's your hero? Yeah. He said, it's, it's me at 35. Yo. It's con- as you, like, that's the point that I think you were trying to put yes. there, is that you're consistently changing, you're consistently evolving. Yes. Things never stay the same. The only constant is change mm. in this world. And if you are not evolving, not moving with the times and you're stuck and being stubborn, then you're just going to fucking drown. Yeah. You either swim or drown Oof. in this in this day Power. and age, bro. Power, bro. And dude, oh, I oh, love this. this. I love so this. Good. I love this. I'm loving this conversation, <laughs> so bro. Proper, bro. Fucking load shedding is killing me right now because the electricity is going to go out. Gone no, no, bro. Hours, I I've, know. Got, I've, got, I've got one more for you, bro. Mm-hmm. What are your three non-negotiables in your life? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That hit. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it wasn't the pipe. <laughs> oh, Three fuck. Three non-negotiables. Yeah. Um, My goals. Non-negotiable. Um, my, my... My mom. My mother. Yeah. I'm such a mama's boy. But Love yeah. that. Um, I'll fucking... Jump in front of a bullet for that woman. Mm. Um, obviously, family follows. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third one is uh, my business. Mm. Yes, I put I put everything into this, bro. Mm. I've got sleepless nights. So if someone disrespects my craft, I take it personal. Because it is personal, it's, you, it's, it's so a it's, personal so, fucking yeah, attack I'm, on you. Attack on your business, attack on your literally. goals, your craft, your anything. I can walk out you. of a room mm. simply because I just didn't feel that energy. Yeah, I agree. I, I get that so much, bro. <laughs> yeah. I relate to that so much bro, because yeah. disrespect is a real thing. It's a real thing. It's you a know? real thing, um, bro. And it's important for us because it does, it, co- it connects to your psychology. Yes. It's like someone belittling you and... When they disrespect That's you, it. it's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, this exactly. thing is, is pointless. Exactly. At that time, you put all your heart's energy into it. And someone's just looking and at you and like, being like, no, it's this nothing. Is, this is a, I don't have time for this. I'm like, okay, cool. Stick it. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> let's wrap it up there. Dude, yeah. I'd love to do a second one with you. Oh, it'd be where lovely, we could man. G- genuinely just pick out like a full on time. Yeah. And we can do like a I'd solid couple that. hours of chat. Bro. Yes. Um, I love that. Hopefully by then, Escom, you've acted right, but uh, yeah. you know that's a nice uh, <laughs> yeah, thing. Dude. But other than that, bro, thank you for <laughs> this. This was, so this was a fucking man. dude. This was so top beautiful, shelf. bro. Top shelf. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this episode, please subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment in the comment section about everything that we've spoken about, um, dude. Where can everybody find you on the socials, bro? 
Oh yeah, so you can uh literally Google Tembisa Winston Gonene and then I'm on all the socials like Instagram, so um Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you name it. Um yeah. I'm trying to get my account verified. Uh, but I don't think there's you any other Tembisa but, but, Winston yeah. Gunene. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to buy it, bro. <laughs> I saw there's a subscription now. No, you can, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I should buy my account. But I was like, eh, there's a bit of like, mm, what if I don't, I want to do it the natural way. I want to earn do it. it. The way I want to earn Cristiano it. Cristiano Ronaldo did it. Yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we will see you guys on the next yeah. episode of The Modern Man. Thank you. Ciao. Cheers. We have coming message. The Modern Man Podcast.